Hey Bright Babes, my name is Katrina and I am the international trainer here at Bright. Today we're going to be talking about some of the contraindications and when not to use Bright. Now some of the contraindications are epilepsy of course, we don't want the light to be triggered at all. Even if you're doing an anal bleaching, the client might be looking away. You need to make sure that you're doing a very consistent client consultation form with them. Ask when their last episode was and what they're usually triggered from. It's not a flashing light, the light itself can trigger an episode. Another contraindication would be pregnancy. If your client is pregnant, as we know, the hormonal issues can be really high and low. So a lot of clients can get a lot more hyperpigmentation during pregnancy, especially melasma. So make sure that it's about six months to a year postpartum, especially if your client is still breastfeeding. This will really affect the treatment. You might have some results and then the next time they come in four weeks later, the hyperpigmentation will be back. So we do not want to disappoint any of your clients. Make sure that the hormones are all leveled out so we're not going up and down. Now with IPL and laser, it is really important that you're not doing these two treatments with Bright, okay? If you have had a client that's been doing laser for a couple of years, whether it's laser hair removal or even pixel treatment, we usually recommend at least six months afterwards, then it's safe to go ahead and do Bright. This goes the same with chemical peels. You do not want to be doing a chemical peel and then a bright treatment. These are two different, very strong ingredients and we don't want the client to have any more sensitivities on the skin. Some clients might already be bleaching their skin with really harsh chemicals like kojic acid. So make sure the area is untreated for at least four to six weeks. And then we highly recommend to test the area, especially for the more sensitive reactive skin. If you want to test inside the wrist, this will really help determine if the skin is too sensitive or not. This is the best place to check it because the skin on the wrist is a lot more thinner than the rest of the body. So this is a really good way to determine if your client's going to have a bad reaction or not. So make Make sure you give your client at least 48 hours to see if their skin has reacted or not and then you can go ahead with the bright treatment. The last thing is be very careful with any surgical scars. Bright works phenomenally with surgical scars, but make sure that the area that's being treated is at least six months. Highly recommend for them to speak to their doctor just to make sure it is safe, but then when they give them the go, go ahead and you can treat over that area as long as there isn't any sensitivities. Make sure that they don't have any allergies to any of the products. Again, it is really natural. Most of our ingredients are 100% natural and highly concentrated, so make sure they are not allergic to any of the products before applying. Always make sure you're doing your due diligence as an esthetician and doing a client consultation form to make sure that they don't have any contraindications prior to the treatment and always make sure that you're doing a follow-up call or a follow-up treatment just to ensure that they have the best results possible.